Oh, look at this. This is payoff time. By golly. We're slowed down, but I don't care. This is what it's about, ladies and gentlemen. I'll be able to hear it, but there's a day boat uh, crossing over there. Bearing in mind it's 10 o'clock in the morning. Uh, he is, I don't know, three miles away. I can hear the music from here. You can see it on the water, just there. Bits of wind coming. No wind there. Wind, 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 wind. So it's coming. No, maybe not. Lovely place, Toburga Island. I got the mainsail up and she is uh, holding a little bit of air, but that's probably uh, wind that we're actually making. Under power, and I've got to go around this point. I'm going along the island, then I'm going to turn round to the left down there. So I've got to clear this point, staying well clear, because I uh, don't have reliable, well, there are no reliable charts of this area that I know of anyway. That is probably a good idea if I come around this side so I can see the depth. 14 uh, meters, so we're okay. There are birds circling up there. I don't know what they are, but I have seen what, it, what appear to be eagles here. Uh, and they, those guys are circling around, having fun up in the thermals. It is just beautiful. I just, I don't get the uh, human mentality of all getting together in huge crowds and, and doing what you would do in a city. <laughs> at this place there's no one here you can start to make a gentle turn so it's nice and quiet here until uh, this guy comes along target practice oh what does this mean things are sort of flopping about a bit I can see wind on the sea sails starting to flap I'm glad because there was a lot of effort to put her up I put her up on the uh, anchor while well, I was still at anchor which is the easiest I'm going to turn down there in a minute, so uh, hopefully um, I'll have some wind on the side and we can go, we can sail. That's actually a bit of a breeze there. I should fill on the other side, I hope, as I come round. Oh look at this, this is payoff time. Just five minutes after I uh, filled the last bit. It just got right. I'm not exactly on course, but I just wanted to sail my boat. The Schadmeister and I haven't sailed for a long time together. And uh, yeah, I got the dinghy on the deck this morning. I thought, well, it's quite a, a longish passage. It's over 10 miles, so I'm allowed to get the mainsail out. So I thought I'd do that. And uh, I need to actually be over there. We're pinching a little bit now, but by golly, we're slowed down, but I don't care. This is what it's about, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. I didn't pick the camera up quick enough, but uh, as soon as I turned the engine off and was under sail, this big flock of pelicans just flew past the boat. It was real, just like, it's beautiful, quiet. Oh, this is it, silence is golden. Gotta clean that anchor when I get in. <laughs> This is just beautiful. This is also a test for uh, the decks. It looks like a patchwork, it looks awful, but that's all the, all the rust gone and sealed up. Uh, all the bare metal sealed up and ready for uh, refilling and new paint, so she'll look fine. At least I've stopped the, the rot, or I hope I have. Yeah, everything's looking a bit tired and old. <laughs> the boat and the sails are not the only one feeling tired and old, I tell you. I just love this. It's just peaceful and quiet. Apart from the flapping of one rope somewhere, I'll find him in a minute.
this is about as de-stressy as it gets. I mean, I've been so stressed lately, and this is not why I, why I do this. I, I do this to get away from the world of stress. Uh, but I've been trying to organize things for the boat. I've been trying to organize a flight for me. I'm going to fly back to Britain uh, for a month. Uh, I want to uh, sort out uh, my affairs, bits and pieces I've got to do. Um, maybe go to the doctor, make sure I can. <laughs> I'm, I'm, good, I'm good for a few more years, you know. Uh, see my sister and family and friends. Go to a wedding, all kinds of stuff like that. A big old birthday, a friend of mine, 65. Uh, Dave, bless you. Um, the, so it's great, but it's uh, organizing the boat. I can't just get on the plane and go. Uh, I'm actually going up this place here to a, um, a marina I've never seen before, but they, they give me a good deal, Vista Del Mar, and uh, I'm going to put the boat there for a month and fly home to England. But getting this organized, I, I'm supposed to leave next week. I haven't even booked a flight yet because I couldn't get good enough internet uh, and somewhere uh, quiet enough that I couldn't, you know, in a bustling bar or a restaurant, trying to, to, to book a flight and, and work out the dates and all this, it's just doing my head in. So I thought I just need to get away, which is what I've done. And, and this is just perfect for me now, perfect. The engine's off, I'm sailing to some islands in the Pacific and I'm going to spend the night. Last night was a bit bumpy where I was anchored. I'm gonna try and, make sure that doesn't happen again tonight um, but yes lovely I've got to cook myself a nice meal I made a curry last night it's the first curry I heard in ages I found someone a, a little package of uh, curry powder and I cooked that up so that was awesome so uh, I'm getting hungry I think I'll try some lunch now uh, hydro's working the hydro vein um, he's doing a job good on your hydro and um, so he's steering the boat and it's perfect flat sea quite a nice little breeze it's not much, under 10 knots, I think, and we're probably moving about three knots or something, three and a half knots. I'm happy. And there's all these guys in power boats zooming past me now. I gotta watch out for them. Good, excellent, right. Looking forward to the rest of the day. Well, we're here. That's one of the islands, and uh, over here there's a big rock that we're going around, this thing in the front, and just behind him is another island. That's where uh, uh, Nika from White Spot Pirates said was the best. I've been told there's an anchorage there, but I'm not quite sure whereabouts it is, so we're going to find that out. It's suddenly got quite windy. I was just about to take the sails down and the wind came up and uh, just accelerated us. I think this extra piece of wind is caused by uh, the two uh, islands having an effect on each other. It's whistling through the gap there. This again is very beautiful. That's the big rock we're going round at the moment and on the charts it sort of says you can go in between the two uh, <laughs> through there. But uh, hmm, I don't know. Uh, it's just a blank space with no soundings so uh, I'm playing it safe and going around the outside. Awful lot of pelicans here. The uh, rock face is all covered in guano. Uh, that's bird shit to you and me. We're around the point there now. Uh, that is one of the anchorages. I've seen uh, a few waves over there and I've seen another boat trying to anchor and he's moving on looking for another place now. Meanwhile in front of us is where I'm going. Uh, providing the wind stays blowing in this direction it should be sheltered. It's sort of tucked in about there somewhere. But you can't see it till we get there. That, according to the chart, is a bay. It always looks flat when you approach stuff from the sea. It's not until you get right up into it that you can actually see that it's a bay. Uh, I'm worried if the weather reverses, I could be trapped. It could be not a good place to be. Anyway, I better get back and check the depth sounder. Something not natural about aiming a boat for a rocky shore. I'm in the bay and it's a fascinating place. All the cliffs are covered with guano. The sky is full of birds, frigate birds and uh, pelicans mostly. There's some old workings on the beach over there. Probably, I don't I guess they must have farmed the guano, I think. The problem is quite deep. 
and according to what I'm looking at here it's reasonably low tide so it's 14 meters uh, add another three four meters on top of that 18 meters that's nearly 20 meters before I hit the bottom of the anchor at high tide that's a lot it is an incredible place though I'd like to stay I'm just worried if the wind reverses like it did last night and comes in from over there I'm gonna be blown on the shore over there but we're gonna have a look at that anyway now just to see if it's any um, shallower yeah I love in this place still 14 here that's back in that spot there I'm gonna circle around and have a look up the other end now yeah it's a regular 14 You can see up there remains of a crane. Anchor down. Although I am watching it, it's sort of pulling back on itself. Must be a better current here. This place was too magnificent to miss up. So even though it's uh, a little bit deep, uh, I'm, I'm gonna stay 14 meters. And I think the, the tide is about two or three to run to come up. The other bonus of this place is it's a natural, beautiful place. Um, with lots of nature. It's not the sort of place your motorboat boys and your day trippers would come to because it's covered in shit and I'm sure they wouldn't like that. So it's ideal for me. It's just no sound, no music, no engines, just these birds circling and I'm happy with that as long as they don't shit on my boat. Don't you shit on my boat! See this headland here, it's just covered in bird shit, that white stuff. <laughs> centuries of it. I'm pretty sure they must have farmed it here. When I get back onto the internet I'll be able to check it out. There's a crane thing there and a bit further on down the uh, the way there is uh, something that looks like concrete. Uh, a footing of some kind. Maybe there was a jetty here. Certainly on the beach there's some interesting stuff. I'd like to go ashore but now it's that's a little bit far for me to row. Um, I've only got one oar on my boat at the moment. You can see these guys just sitting here. I don't know if they're sitting on eggs or what they're doing. Or maybe the birds above are circling trying to steal their eggs. I don't know if you can see it, there's another boat down there somewhere and I the, there was some swell going in and a lot of breakers on the beach where he is. I thought I'd had enough of rough weather and swell, I'm staying over here. They're like pterodactyls. It's like something, uh, I don't know, uh, Jurassic Park or something. Look at these guys. That's just awesome. Brilliant. Yeah, they've definitely noticed me. They're coming over here now. Hey, don't shit on my boat. Watch this series a lot. You'll know that um, this is the next thing I have to do. It's ice cold. I am so hot and I'm sunburnt. It's been a beautiful day. I've had an excellent sail down here. Brilliant, absolutely enjoyed it. Uh, there's not many of those days, N those of you who know me will know that. It's been, it's been perfect, absolutely perfect. I just hope, I'm taking a bit of a risk with this place. Nika from White Spot Pirates said it was okay. It is very deep and I'm just kind of a little bit exposed. If the wind shifts completely round, so I'm blown on these cliffs, then I will have a problem tonight. But I think I'm off, off far enough that I won't reach the cliffs, I hope not. I'm hoping if I get too close to the reefs, all the birds will start going to squawk in. Uh, and uh, that'll wake me up. Anyway, I'm doing this one-handed. Cheers. Yeah, it's night time um, and I just had a little glass of wine with my meal, rather excellent, and that's all I'm going to have tonight uh, because the wind has come up and it's come up a fair old bit and the back end of the boat has swung around uh, so it's facing the cliffs which are just over there and you can't see it, it's dark. Um, I had, um, just while I was eating this patrol boat came up, they got a 
they got some I was I was like doing my washing and cleaning the deck and I stripped off because I was so hot and splashed with seawater and just carried on doing work turns out there are people on this island I thought there was no one around this patrol boat came to pick up a couple of soldiers they're doing some military stuff up there or something I don't know but then they came over and checked me uh, not because I was naked but I put clothes on by this time obviously um, and they were actually really nice. They, they were just killing time. They came over and curious, you know, who I was and why I was here. And I'm like, yeah, and they were really nice, young young guys, really cool. One one spoke uh, pretty good English, so that was really nice. Um, so uh, then the wind, while they were here, the wind picked up. And the guy said, you sure you're okay? And I'm like, yeah, yeah, thank you. I'll be fine, thank you. And okay, all right. And off they went. And uh, so now I'm hanging again uh, at a it's just it's just a little bit you know mm, if the anchor drags or gives way now uh, there's rocks behind me which is not the best thing last night was similar again a lot of swell and uh, banging around tonight it's the swell's not too bad there's another island in front of us which i should have maybe on second thoughts had, had gone there instead of here but anyway uh, it's a beautiful little island i'd love i'd love to see all the birds today but hopefully it'll come down by 12 so I'm gonna go watch a video or something and then come back on deck I got an anchor watch thing on as well I, I got on my computer the GPS it'll tell me if the boat moves and the alarm goes off um, so I've done all I can and uh, put extra chain out so I'm gonna chill for the night so all being well into the marina tomorrow so um, yeah <laughs> hopefully nothing <laughs> hopefully nothing happens tonight and I'll see you tomorrow Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this kind of laid back sailing episode that we had for you this week as much as I enjoyed making it for you. Thanks to my patrons also for their amazing support. If you'd like to help out, check out my Patreon page. Uh, for real time updates, find out what I'm doing in real time. I'm on Facebook, Adventures in Old Sea Dog. You could find me there. All links are below for Instagram and Twitter and more information. Please don't forget to subscribe and give us a thumbs up. Safe sailing. See you next time. This big flock of pelicans. Uh, just sail past, just flew past. <laughs> I think it's actually caused by wind coming through between the two. I think this extra little bit of wind is caused by uh, wind coming. I think this extra piece of wind is caused by uh, the two uh, islands. But oh goodness me, I just spilled my bloody wine. Did I? Oh no. Oh yes, I did a bit. Okay. I just spilled my wine. I'm trying to vlog at night and I just spilled my wine. Okay.